I love my viewers to death. My DMs be lit. Typically with questions like, yo, Kuba, does 14K look like 10K? Does 14 look like 18? Does 18 look like 10? And rarely do I get asked anything over 18 karat gold because shit, you gotta have some deep pockets and typically they don't watch me. So I've touched on this topic previously in another video, but this time I'm gonna show you up to 22 carats in my favorite piece of jewelry, the Miami Cuban Link. Let's roll my motherfucking music so I can put you onto these beautiful gold tones from 10 to 22. I'm kind of a big deal. Bless the morning, my beautiful peoples. You know who it is. This your boy. C to the U to the B to the A. First, I want to give a shout out to James Otto for these joints because these shits is crazy. Look at these. Talk about affordable, super well constructed, and the flex game is real. These shits are sold out, and every time they get on the website, they're sold out. So if you're interested in a fly-ass pair of shades, I'll put a link in the description below so y'all motherfuckers can get on the waiting list because the shit's long. Now, thanks to Daniel Jewelry Inc., I was able to get my hands on, of course, the different gold tones that I was looking for to present to you guys to help you guys make your decision on what gold tone you're looking to go for. Like, if you're on a tight budget, but you still want an authentic non-gold, play the joint but you want to go 10k but you're just worried that the gold tone is going to be too off this video is for you if you are on 14 karat gold and i'm thinking of upgrading to 18 karat but just want to know how does that 18 karat luster looks this video is for you now if you're on 18 karat gold and looking to upgrade to 22 karat because your pockets are stick because you were selling 700 dollars bottles of hand sanitizer during the pandemic you piece of shit this video is also for you so let's get right into the fuckery shall we i'm gonna start with 22 carats and work my way down to 10 carats so i'm gonna start with almost pure gold miami cuban link and this shit is lusty check it let me put on my butler gloves first just so y'all motherfuckers can really see the tones in action look how rich this shit looks So this is what almost 92% pure gold looks like in a Miami Cuban link form. Fucking beautiful. The shine is incredible. And even so, with the lusty, beautiful orange golden glow, this shit still don't look cheddar cheesy. It's pretty stunning, man. It's pretty incredible. It's an incredible piece. Now this particular chain is, let's see. This is slightly over an eight millimeter. And in length, uh, I'm gonna say this is about a 22 inch. The weight of this joint is approximately 131 and a half grams. So this is a beautiful, beautiful piece and I know what everybody wants to see and I'll be more than happy to provide it to you. Net profile. Big money talk, this shit is not cheap. You've seen how gold prices are. Although they've taken a little bit of a dip and hopefully they'll take a little bit more of a dip, you get to see what a 22 karat Miami Cuban link made by hand looks like. Now let's move down to 18 karat. Now the 18 karat that I have is in a bracelet, in a beautiful nine and a half millimeter, eight inch, 18 karat gold Miami Cuban link, of course with the box lock and it is stamped. Let me show y'all. That color cannot be denied. 18 karat gold over, I believe, 74% pure gold up in this bitch. And then the wrecks are mixed with alloys, etc., etc. I don't fucking know. But I know what y'all wanna see wrist profile. Again, very stunning piece. 
beautiful bracelet. This is a perfect daily wear size for most people who've been asking what a 9.5 millimeter looks like on wrist. Here you go, it gives you a nice perspective. This is an eight inch, so it's a little bit big for me. I can fit a whole finger through it because I'm a seven and a half generally. So, but you guys get the idea. Beautiful gold luster, looks crazy. And when you put them next to each other, you can see what 22 and 18 look like. Now let's move to 14. Y'all seen 14 carat a thousand times on my channel. I personally own a 14 carat, but this one is a beautiful 14 carat gold. Also like mine with the diamond button, only this one is eight millimeter, 24 inches long. Now with the 18 karat gold bracelet off, I'll show you 14 and 18 side by side. You can definitely see more of a luster in the 18 karat gold than the 14 karat gold. These are pretty much freshly polished, so you can get a nice visual appeal of the brightness and the shininess, so it's not taking away. The gold tone in 18 karat is definitely more present than 14, and you can just tell even from this distance when I twist it, there is definitely a nice difference between the two. I mean, they're both beautiful, beautiful pieces, but you can see that the 18 karat gold definitely is bumped up. Now, when you go from 14 to 22, I'm sure I don't have to tell you 14, 22. It's a big difference, very big difference. Like, it's crazy. This is just rich. This is incredible. It's a huge, huge, huge difference. Beautiful pieces, obviously well constructed, but tone wise, this is different. I'm gonna put the 14 karat gold eight millimeter on neck because y'all seen 14 karat gold a thousand times, but there are some people in the market just looking for different sizes and just wants to know what an eight millimeter may wanna look like on the neck. So of course I'm here to give you the neck profile. And lastly, we got the 10 karat 24 inch. This one is about a nine and a half millimeter Miami Cuban link. Now I'll show y'all 10 carat versus 22. Yeah, It's not even in the same fucking planet. This shit is just, woo, blows this joint out of the water. But when you put it with 14, 14, 10, it's not that far off. It's actually quite close. You could definitely see the 14 has obviously a little bit more gold tone, but Really, once this polish starts to fade out and just go into evenly, it's gonna be hard to tell 10 to 14, to be honest with you. Now I'll show you 10 to 18. 18, definitely noticeable. Now let me go ahead and show y'all 10, 14, 18, 22. 10, 14, 18, 22. And it wouldn't be a Cubano video unless I hit you with the ultimate neck profile. Oh. I hope you found this video slightly informative. At least you were able to see the perspective from 10K all the way up to 22K, AKA from the moderately affordable to the Oh shit, nah, B. I love y'all motherfuckers from the heart. Let me know if this video was popping by giving it a huge thumbs up the ass, and I'll see y'all bitches next time. You know who it is? The biggest in the game. Might not want to give these back. Smooches. Cubano, Cubano, what's fresh? Who's best? One of them's gonna pass the test. Cubano. With a fly gun, hold a money fold a roller roller star tag when it's time to call back. It's long since you never get in. It's long since that you would think that you would. <laughs>